In recent developments, the Russian armed forces have embarked on a significant transformation of their military assets, converting T-62M tanks into demoning vehicles. This initiative arises from the pressing need for effective mine-clearing solutions on modern battlefields, particularly highlighted by the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, where the deployment of mines and explosive obstacles has surged. Originally designed as a main battle tank during the Cold War, the T-62M model, which first rolled out in the 1960s, has undergone numerous upgrades over the decades, particularly in terms of armor and electronic systems. However, its effectiveness as a primary combat vehicle has been overshadowed by newer models, such as the T-72 and T-90, which offer advanced technology and enhanced combat capabilities. As a result, the Russian military has opted to repurpose certain T-62MS for roles that extend beyond traditional offensive operations, focusing instead on securing terrain for their forces. The modifications to the T-62M include the integration of specialized demoning systems, such as KMT rollers. These devices are crucial for neutralizing mines by triggering them before the vehicle crosses over, effectively creating safe pathways through minefields. This adaptation allows Russian units to advance while minimizing risks to personnel and equipment, a vital consideration in ground operations faced with extensive minefields. In addition to demoning systems, some converted T-62MS have received enhancements to bolster their armor against the potential devastation of landmine explosions. While these improvements offer additional protection, they cannot fully match the effectiveness of modern demoning vehicles specifically designed for such tasks. The decision to convert T-62MS into demoning vehicles also reflects logistical constraints and the limited availability of specialized demoning units within the Russian military. By utilizing the T-62M, which remains in substantial numbers, the military can implement a cost-effective solution that optimizes existing resources. This approach demonstrates a strategic pivot towards adapting current military assets to meet the challenges of asymmetric warfare. While the T-62M provides a practical demoning solution, it does come with certain limitations. The tank's protection levels, though reinforced, are not on par with contemporary demoning vehicles, and crews face increased exposure to danger. The T-62M is equipped with a 115mm 2A20 smoothbore gun, which can engage various targets, including armored vehicles and infantry. Additionally, it has a coaxial 7.62mm PKT machine gun and a 12.7mm DSHKM heavy machine gun for defense against aerial and close-range threats. Weighing around 42 tons, the T-62M reaches a maximum speed of 50 km per hour, with a range of 450 km, allowing it to operate effectively across extended distances. Its combat capabilities are further supported by modern observation and targeting systems, including night vision devices and an NBC, nuclear, biological and chemical protection system. The T-62M's design and effectiveness have led to its widespread export, with service in several countries, including Afghanistan, Egypt, Kazakhstan, Iraq and Syria. Despite being outclassed by modern tanks, its robust design and reliability have made it a popular choice for armies seeking economical yet effective armored vehicles. The conversion of T-62M tanks into demoning vehicles exemplifies the Russian armed forces' commitment to adapting their existing military resources to the evolving demands of contemporary warfare. As the threat of mines continues to pose significant challenges on the battlefield, the strategic utilization of the T-62M underscores the importance of demoning capabilities and reflects the ingenuity of the Russian military in preserving operational mobility while minimizing potential losses.